Hey everybody, it's Stuff from Man Armory. How's everybody doing today? Um, hit the like, hit the share, comment. Um, sorry about the lighting. We've been having tef technical difficulties um, the last couple uh, weeks, about 16 weeks. Um, we're doing the final unboxing of the ST SDI um, Serene Desert Institute of Technology. I'm in my final class, which is the FTE. 217 Modern Sport and Rifle, which is like the AR-15. Um, so we unbox. It comes in three boxes, technically three. Uh, you, the one box goes, the lower goes to the, the strip lower goes to your FFL. I used uh, J and J Gunworks from Clementon, New Jersey, uh, to do my transfer. And then you get two boxes. You get the uh, parts for the gun, and then or parts for the firearm, and then you get the parts, the uh, tools to put it together. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Now these are big boxes, so I'm basically going to... They're already pretty much out of the big box, and we'll just take them out and show them to you. Alright, so... Now, being in Jersey, you can't have a uh, collapsible stock, so they gave us a um, ha handle brace. So that's going to be able to sit like that. Um, it's okay. This is by CA Prod. CA Probe is the name of it. So is that one. Uh, a, lot of these, a lot of these parts are arrow precision. So um, this is the AR 15 um, upper receiver. It looks pretty cool, and it's in aluminum, iodine, iodine, iodized black. So it actually looks pretty cool. So, this is the eight week class. Is this this is the uh, handguard. Actually, looks nice. This is the, the anodized black, and it's 12.6 inches. And of course, all the uh, all the parts to install it, the tools. It's pretty cool. Gotta love the stickers. AR-15 M4 lower. So these are all like your tr your your base lower part kits. Matter of precision. The additional lower part kits. Uh, fire control group. Another sticker. That's pretty cool. Nitrate gas block. That's pretty cool. Uh, upper part kits. Looks like dust cover. Parts to install that. That's pretty, pretty dope. So far, this kit's actually pretty. Pretty good. Put these back in there. So um, you guys will be seeing a lot of this build. This build it will be 100% um, shown. I also have a couple other builds that I'm working on that we're going to uh, be doing. So a lot of stuff to, to come. That's going to be coming up in the next mo two months. Is the carbine buffer kit? Nice, definitely nice. It's 
So this is the buffer spring and the buffer tube. That's how that's going to be set up. So that's going to be stoked. We had to do a, um, I had to actually go through all the parts and uh, do that already. gas tube this is now all that was our position this is CMMG is the company name of this the barrel it's a 556 barrel so you can actually shoot 223 and 556 out of this gun so that will be nice That would be really nice. We got charging handle. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Looks like pretty, pretty badass. So it's a, it's a 556. Now the difference between the AR-10 and the AR-15 is the AR-10 um, carrier group has the bolt in it. There's two different parts. This is a bolt carrier group. Uh, AR-10 has that. The AR-15, um, you take that apart a little bit. So just a little bit more breakdown, but nothing, nothing too crazy. That's actually really nice. Because that's a firing pin. So. And last but not least in this box, the lower. So this is where all, everything's going to be basically built into this, and it's just going to rock. That's our arrow precision too. And this is chambered. This is going to be chambered in 5.56. So it's going to be shooting 5.56 rounds. Now, obviously, I can't. Do, I'm not going to do a video with ammunition while I have a, a gun apart. So. Now onto the toolkit. So that was basically the two kits because this is what has to go to the FFL. So that goes to the FFL. Now, the other kit, the other box is the toolkit. First thing we got out of that was this tip tone um, gun cleaner supply deluxe carbine fiber cleaning rod. So this is actually a really, really nice rod. It's for cleaning the barrel of the gun. Get your mag. Block for holding parts in and, and setting stuff up. AR-15 uh, bolt for the bolt in the gun. The firearm, it's for the bolt. Bolt vice. Another block to set everything up to um, hold it down. Dummy rounds. This is the 556 Go No gauge set. So that's that's really cool. And then we have the vice, the soft shell vice. So this is so that you can put your gun in a vice. So I mean, so far a lot of cool things. Wrench. This is the multi tool for doing a lot of the torquing on the um, on the AR. We have a 
lot of parts. Now this is all comes in with the, the program, so you get to pick. Now you could choose between a shotgun, a or a 1911, are the two that you could choose between. Uh, AR pivot roll pin installer tool. Looks like we got a, a roll pin set. Looks like we got another punch set. Another punch set. These are by Grace. These three are by Grace. USA, Genuine Grace UNC. So, uh, another uh, punch set. This is from Pittsburgh. And this is a two piece uh, bolt kit set. I'm not quite sure what they're for. Tamper proof star key set, which is actually, it's actually a pretty cool little, little setup. They give you a white pencil. I actually got to resharpen that. This is feeler gauge. It's a M16 feeler gauge by CM Tools. Another. Uh, this is a Smith and Weston rear sight stake punch. This is a finger punch precision gauge. We got an ultra jig set. I'm not quite sure what that's for, but we'll figure that out. And then we got a tap set. This is a half inch torque wrench. And we got a T handle torque set. So we got all this stuff. Um, I haven't done the estimated on it. I'm going to say it's probably close to $1,000. Easy. Um, you know, some of the stuff in here is, you know, close to over a hundred, um, or close, or, you know, close to a hundred, some of it's cheaper, so, it's a lot of stuff here, uh, we'll definitely be having the, um, all the videos will be being put up with it, you know, as the weeks go, um, of the build, um, for the future, we're probably going to have a camera in here over top of the, um, work area, uh, work area still in process, um, but we'll definitely be having a lot of uh, guns being built in here. We'll have um, down at the range, um, still trying to line up some interviews with the, some of the uh, custom builders. Um, you know, December Customs are trying to get out here to do a, um, a demonstration on this sling. Um, you know, still in the work. We're still young. Um, so, stick with us, like us, share us, you know, comment. Like I said, anything that you want us to demo for you or to um, look at. Um, I have a, um, a old um, Vietnam, uh, not Vietnam, sorry, World War II um, rifle that we'll be restoring for a friend of mine. Um, so, we're going to be looking at that. Um, that will be put up on here. So keep following us, keep liking us, share us. Um, the more people share, the more people like, the bigger this grows, the more I can do um, with it. And um, we'll also be um, having raffles for parts, scopes, um, red dots. So if you're in... And on also we'll be doing, you know, survival stuff too. For, like, we'll have backpacks, we'll go over, you know, 
because this all comes together. So I hope everybody has a great day. Enjoy um, your weekend, and I'll talk to you guys later.